Paul Baldessini here. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how I attach a piece of linen to my panel. And this uh, is a relatively simple process. Uh, I, I need a few tools to do it, plus the lint piece of linen, plus the board that it goes on. So what we need to do that is neutral pH adhesive. Uh, <clears throat> this one is made by Linico Company. That's what I use. That's the glue I use to affix the linen to the panel. I do that with this cheap uh, hardware store chip brush. It's a two inch chip brush, cost a couple of bucks or less. And then to roll it out smooth and secure it, I use a, a four inch uh, uh, printmaking brayer. And this is a speedball brayer. I'm on the floor of my studio. Uh, that's where I prepare my panels, mostly because they're too big to put on my drawing table. So my panel, which is uh, I pre-cut from a large 4x8 sheet of MDF, and I don't use the MDF that you can get from Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, I get mine from a local hardwood distributor and a, a building contractor called Line and Billet Lumber, and they're in Connecticut where I am. I buy a 4x8 sheet. It's one-third the weight of standard MDF. It's fantastic for panels. It's very strong. I get the half inch size, four, four by eight sheets. I have it delivered to my studio for less than $60. I use Belgian linen to paint on. Um, this is portrait grade Belgian linen. I made a little chart here. I get it from Soho Art Supply in Manhattan. They have four different weights and um, uh, textures. Uh, I get the portrait texture. It's number 9620. It's not cheap. It's expensive, but it's uh, it, it's really good for uh, the kind of painting that I do for realism and fine detail work. Okay, so my panel's on the floor. Uh, again, I, I, I cut this up out of a 4 by 8 sheet of uh, MDF, and MDF stands for medium density fiberboard. I've got my glue and I'm just going to put a whole lot of glue on this thing. You got to work pretty fast because the setup time is pretty quick. And then I brush it on like so. I want to cover the whole thing, especially up to the edges. Now that the glue is covering the whole panel, I move quickly to attach the pre-cut piece of linen while the glue is still wet. It doesn't matter which side of the linen faces up, they are both the same. I place the linen onto the panel, centered left to right with about a half to three quarters of an inch overlap on all four sides. Then I smooth out the linen, flattening any wrinkles or air bubbles. Using the brayer, I roll up and down and across the panel as necessary to firmly attach and smooth out the linen running the brayer over the edges several times to ensure that they are flat and secure. The glue will seep out to the surface, which is okay since it acts as a size to protect the linen from the ground coat that will be applied later after the glue is dried. Next, I fold the overlapping linen down over the edges of the panel. Since no glue is applied to the edges, the linen won't stick but creasing and folding over ensures a secure bond when the excess linen is trimmed off. Lastly, I run the brayer over the whole panel one last time to ensure that the linen is flat and secure. So the last thing I'm gonna do is put some weight on this. And these are just old desktops that I happen to uh, have. I use two of them. They're pretty heavy. And I lay those down like that. And that's going to cure, as it were, dry really overnight. And we'll pick up the video from there. The panel's dried overnight and I'm ready to trim off the excess. All I need is a brand new single edge razor blade. And I'm just going to start in one of the corners and trim it off. 
may I may have to go in and trim it a little touch it up a little bit turn it around same thing on this side sometimes the glue sticks drips and sticks There's two. Third side. This one's a little stubborn. There we go. Always be careful when you're using a single edge razor blade. And the brand new ones are super sharp. And that takes care of that and that's nice and smooth now notice right here this peeled up a little bit so what i'm going to do there is get a little bit more of my glue tuck it in there and then just press it flat you just rub it with the finger it's a very easy fix sometimes that happens it's not the end of the world and the last thing that i'm going to do is sand the whole thing down this is number uh, grit uh, 225 grit sandpaper and I'm just sanding it down lightly. And that's it. All that needs to be done now is to put on two coats of primer. My panel is dried overnight. I put glue under the edges uh, any place that it lifted up and I sanded it. Now it's ready to put on the ground coat. To put on the ground coat, I'm going to use Gamblin Oil Painting Ground. Uh, it's a ground that contains no lead, titanium dioxide, calcium carbonate, and alkyd resin. It dries fast. It uh, dries uh, maybe two or three days or if outside it might dry in overnight if it's baked in the sun. I apply the first coat uh, roughly. Uh, with a three inch chip brush, same brush I used to spread on the glue before I mounted the linen. I'm going to smooth it out with a six inch foam roller. All right, I'm back on the studio floor here and I'm going to put on the, the first coat of prime. Um, the prime has to be thinned out, it's too thick to use out of the can. So I use for a, a panel two by three feet, which is about what this one is, I use about three quarters of a cup of the ground. And about four tablespoons or five tablespoons of odorless mineral spirits and I, I whipped it up so it's uh, not too thin and not too thick so I'm just going to put some of that on there for the painting spatula I'll use the six inch roller to smooth out the rough application of the ground. Make sure I've covered all the bare spots back and forth a few times. Smooth it out. After that dries, it's going to get a second coat exactly the same way that I just showed you in the video demo. This will bake in the sun outside for two or three days and it'll be completely dry or it'll dry in the garage. It might take two weeks. That's it. Thanks for watching.